Bonsoir à tout le monde, euh, je m'appelle Lorena. Euh, en fait, cette présentation, elle va être en anglais parce que je suis plus confiante en anglais. Mais vous pouvez poser des questions en français. J'essaierai de, de, de répondre quand même. Well, so the, the topic here tonight is why hire a junior software engineer? So first question that comes to my mind uh, or that I imagine that might come to my mind is why should I believe her? What's so special about her? Why? Well, maybe you don't have any. Well, I don't have any real reason to tell you right now, but you'll see in the presentation. I currently work at Docker, which was my first job, and I started as a junior software engineer. And uh, uh, during the time there, I learned a lot of things and how, uh, how engaging with a junior software engineer might uh, well, improve, things, uh, the, improve things there. So first of all, what is a junior software engineer? So I've heard a lot of definitions during, the time, during a lot of time. Uh, one, of the, one of them says that it's uh, an engineer that comes that has like one to two years of experience. Another definition says that it's just right out of college, things like that. So the definition that I found online that uh, fits quite uh, the way that I think is uh, this one that's an entry level engineer with limited exposure to development and development practice who will need strong mentoring and support to be able to grow their skills. So what does this mean? This means for me three things that we will need to invest time, we will need to invest effort, and we will need to invest a lot of knowledge. So here you might be thinking, yeah, that doesn't sound quite good. Why would I invest in somebody if I already have my team and if it's working correctly and I don't want to spend like lots of money on or time trying to, uh, to teach somebody how to program. So with this, I'm going to tell you the, the pros. So one of the good things about having a junior software engineer in your team is that you can have, uh, you can grow them, their team spirit. Usually what's most, what I see most important in companies and the, how the, an engineer chooses to, to stay in the company is that if they have this sense of belonging. So usually when you welcome some people in your team and they they will, they will tend to stand longer. So, uh, yeah, continue to the next part. Um, another part is uh, to, you get to, another good thing is that you get to meet new people. Usually having new people on the team is really nice. You get to see where they've come from, where they've gone. You get to see another way of problem another way of problem solving and a lot of experiences from the past, even if it's just from a career, a, uh, a university career stand of point of view. Uh, another of my favorite pros is that uh, you can delegate work. I've seen, uh, it actually happened to me when I first arrived at Docker, that they were really keen on <coughs> So there was no people who did support. And uh, well, they said, well, let's do that. The new software engineer will do the work. And so they, let me, they sent me to the, the issue tracker and I started doing like going through the issues, seeing kind of like doing things here, doing a little big bug fixes and things like that. So small bugs and things that were fixable right at the moment. Um, they were given to me. So if you're like a senior software engineer and you're tired of, I don't know, cleaning up machines or um, changing the font on your website or just, uh, I don't know, a lot of things, you can delegate the work easier to them and that would be like, uh, you get like a, a weight off your chest. Um, another part is also the, the organization. So another example, yes, I only know my company, so uh, I'll continue talking about it, about that, is that uh, when I arrived, uh, there was not really much uh, organization. We used to just 
go into the issue tracker, try to find something, and uh, and do a bug fix. So uh, I remember that day that I arrived, I said, okay, I'm going to look at this issue. So I opened it and said, Docker's not working. I was like, okay. So I started looking at the issue and it said something like, yeah, they just said, Docker's not starting and it will not start forever. So I was like, uh, what should I do now? And so I went back, I chose another issue and it was like pretty much the same. And I, I spent like a lot of time there trying to, to find what to do. It's like, I didn't have no idea on what, if there was any specific task to do. So with that, I went to my manager and said, Hey, um, so you see, uh, I see that there are like this issue trackers. There's no really, there, there, there's nothing that I can do here as a junior software engineer. What was the solution there? It was that uh, they started to implement a backlog. We started to have uh, a list of issues. So we found an issue online. We said, um, so there's things to fix. And we started having like a more organized thing. After that, uh, what happened? Oh my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's that I've rehearsed a lot and um, right now all the ideas are gone, but it, it will come back. So another part of, the, uh, of this is that, um, Junior software engineers tend to have another way of thinking. Um, I remember that, uh, who hasn't had this, um, this uh, part, this, uh, this problem, that there's you and your colleague, and then there's a specific um, problem that you have. And then you're like, yep, my idea is the best. And then you have like the other people on the other side and then they're like, no, my idea is the best. And then they keep on like, no, my idea and then you, my idea. And then they keep on fighting back and forth, back and forth to see who has the best idea. And they keep, they keep on having endless uh, discussions on who has the best idea and they get nowhere. So this is where a junior software engineer like me fits. It's like, um, what happened that time is that there were two, two senior software engineers trying to explain something completely different and they were like having a back and forth discussion and they went and they stepped in front of me and said, here are the two solutions, which one is the easier for you? And then I said, uh, none of them, I don't understand what's happening. And so they spent like another 15 minutes trying to explain what happened. And then I finally chose uh, another, we, we, we found another outcome, which was simpler, which was uh, smaller, which was uh, pretty much readable. So that's like one of the things that we might keep in mind that it's uh, usually another way of thinking that comes in here and that we should be open to that because usually as uh, we tend to grow older, we keep on thinking things are better as I see them. And uh, another thing that I also see are the challenges. Um, it's quite hard to explain things uh, to somebody, even if you handle the, the theme, even if you know how to do things. When somebody comes to you and asks you, what is a class? You're like, uh, so imagine trying to, 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 to explain a piece of work that you've done all day long to a kindergartner. So it's like pretty much the same. You have to know the core concept. And I think that's a really cool challenge to be able to explain what you do in everyday life in simple words to somebody else. So here we come to another part, like why would my team need a junior software engineer? So it's like, you said all the pros, you said, yeah, okay, but how would I know if I really need one? First, if you see on your calendar and you see too many meetings on discussing, how should I do this? How should I do that? You definitely need somebody. You're spending way too much time on planning and less time on doing. Sometimes you just have to do the things to be able to see the outcome of that. 
uh, another part is that if you're also having um, endless discussions, as I said before, uh, well, you need somebody to leverage that. If you feel like you are staying in the same place, like your, your, your everyday work uh, is just the same, maybe you need somebody who could come and tell you um, and give you like new ideas or maybe new products or maybe a new way of using that product. Do you need, uh, do you have the feeling of experimenting new processes? Well, um, yes. Uh, if you're looking for talent, uh, usually the most talented people are not, uh, not necessarily have a lot of experience. I know this firsthand because I've met um, one of my best friends. She is a Python developer and she was before a marketing agent or something like that. So, when she started, uh, she started doing a reconversion. So she started like really working hard on getting into Python and things like that. And uh, to this day, I can say that she sees things way better than like way more clearly, or she explains things much better than myself, who was who I actually went into a career of software engineering. So usually, taking people for taking less experienced people with experience in other domains might help you become to. Uh, a better idea on your team or have more ideas. And well, now that we're talking about it, well, why don't we, uh, it's about uh, diversity. So usually it's not like including a woman in your team and then you have like seven guys and one woman in your team and that, that's it. No, it's like more including of people from different places so you can get a lot of point of views from different things. It's not like you're going to, oh, I don't know what I'm going to say. And, um, I really like to point out the experiment new process because at, uh, where we work, we started changing the way we, we worked to be able to have a, a, a clearer backlog, to be able to, to have self-explained ticket, tickets and things like that, just so people that are less experienced could be able to get into the backlog and understand what was happening. So pretty much that's it. Uh, in the conclusions, uh, I would like to say that um, having a junior software engineer, usually it's, um, it's an investment. It's not as really straightforward. You're going to have to spend time, you're going to have to spend money, and you're going to have to spend a lot of knowledge. You're going to have to mentor people. But that will mean that later on you might have, um, you might polish a gem. In the junior software engineers, you might find uh, people that are talented, people that love the company values that you love, and uh, people that are quite excited for things that uh, you feel excited, and that they, ha they would have new ideas to just jump in or things like that. Um, one, one experience that I would like to share is that I usually spent uh, my team is quite a senior team. So it's like I'm the, the, the baby in the office. I like to call myself that because I'm the youngest one. And then you have like uh, guys like from 35 or over uh, with kids and family. And uh, so usually it's quite hard for me to express my feelings around them. Like if I see something's wrong, it's like, uh, I don't know how to say it. How, how can I, I don't have the confidence to tell them that they're wrong because they have 10 years of experience versus me that I have like one year of experience. So um, yeah, so last week we were on having this, uh, this issue that uh, there's like one expert only in each area. So I came up and said, why don't we have a, why don't we pair program in all tickets? And I was like, oh, that's going to be like an, uh, a stupid idea. They're not going to take me into account. Well, surprise, they actually said it was a good idea and that they were going to implement uh, some kind of like a labeling system for uh, pair program pair, peer, peer needed so that the tickets will be able to be done into and share the knowledge. So it was quite an... an 
an achievement for me to be able to be there with like a whole bunch of senior software engineers and express an idea that was actually helpful. And it struck me like as odd that even with the years of experience, they wouldn't have uh, thought of like this tiny idea. So ideas like that might just um, come out if you hire uh, junior software engineers. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you.